How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here and today is the start of Battle Pass Season 4 for Brawlhalla. So exciting! It's so exciting. We had to wait so long, literally months for this and now the wait is over? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So as you can see, Total UI Takeover. The new music is insanely epic. I love it. Ah, oh, I could just sit here at the main menu listening to this music forever. All right, so in previous uh, battle passes, it was the same way. You had the free track, which is the top track, and then you had the gold paid track. And we're gonna look at all the items before we jump into a game. So if you get the gold track, right away you get these four items. You get the level one Octavius Mordex, which does level up all the way to three different skins. Look at that, you get the base human Mordex, which is really cool. You get the halfway human, halfway werewolf, and then you get the supercharged werewolf Mordex. So crazy. You do have to uh, level up this skin by completing challenges. These are the weapons. Even the scythe and gauntlet, uh, gauntlets look really good. And of course the level three version, they're animated. And then we also get a podium. The Fall of the Lions, which also levels up level 1, level 2, and level 3. So epic. And by the way, guys, if you didn't know, like, let's say you get all three levels of the Octavius Mordex skin, but you really just want to use the level 2 version, you can still do that. You can still use any of the levels at any time. Same with the podium. You also get the Stone Guardian sidekick and the Crown of the Exalted Avatar. All right, without further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and unlock this gold track. All right, we just got gold version of the battle pass. Let's go. Octavius Mordex level one. Fall of the Lions level one. The Stone Guardian and the Crown of the Exalted. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Before we forget, let's go ahead and equip that new podium, Fall of the Lions. Oh yeah, so cool. And of course, the Stone Guardian. And why not? Let's do the uh, the avatar as well. We're going full battle pass today. All right, look at that. We are decked out now. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, let's look at all the items you get. So as you complete missions, which you can see the missions right here. Uh, this week's missions, let's see. Emote, of course, platform, scythe chaos, gauntlets, light attack, damage, orb heavy. These missions are all the same for everyone. So every week, everyone has some missions. The daily missions might be different. But the, uh, the weekly missions are the same. You also have down here, if you buy the gold version, you have the general missions. And these are what are going to level up your Octavius Mordex and your Podium. So to level up your Octavius Mordex, all you need to do is get KOs with the active input version of attacks. Very easy to do on some weapons, literally impossible on others. Uh, we'll go over that maybe a little bit later, but typically if you're using a Scythe, you're just going to do it. It's not that hard. Uh, grounded light attack damage very very easy to level up your podium so you're gonna it does take a lot of damage so I mean you're not supposed to be able to complete these right away it's gonna take a few weeks probably so we have basically a week until the next missions unlock so as you're completing missions you're leveling up these tiers you're gonna get levels Man, even on the free ver uh, free track, you're gonna get quite a bit of stuff. So every time it shows this lion symbol, you're gonna get a color coat of lions, which looks so cool. You're gonna get it for a random legend, and then all the way at the end of the battle pass, you can get it for every legend if you buy the gold tier. It looks so good. I love the color scheme, for, sh for real. Silver and red, beautiful, beautiful. More mammoth coins. I don't know how much mammoth coins you get all together. That w we'll keep track of that, so. It costs $10 to unlock the gold track, but you get a lot of money back just from the mammoth coins. Gravedigger emote, looking pretty cool. We got the Lion's Rain Gauntlets on the free track. Look at that loading frame. Beautiful at level 7. Let's keep going. More colors. Level 9, we get the cannon skin. Very nice. Another XP boost. Some more colors. 40 mammoth coins total now, right? Ooh, look at that avatar. Time will tell. It even opens and closes, I like it. Oh, look at that taunt. The triple clap, <laughs> what? That's so funny, it's like the Illuminati. Oh man. Then, wow, look at that hammer skin, the mosaic ball, so beautiful. I love the stained glass look these weapons have. Another 20 mammoth coins, so we're at 60 total. Glass of uh, wine or chalice. 
kind of spilling around. Wow, that axe skin. That might be the best looking weapon. I don't know. That's so good. Oh my gosh. More colors. We got another avatar in the free version. Our first skin, other than Octavius Mordex, of course. Honor Bound Cross at tier 23. Very cool. These are the weapons. Sacred Order Blasters and Pledge and Pride Gauntlets. Very cool. I like it. Keeping it going. We got some more colors. We get another blaster skin at tier 25. More colors. 80 mammoth coins total now, right? 80 all together. Ooh, that's actually a pretty cool looking bow. I like it. The only thing is like the fangs on the bow look like if you were holding onto that handle, the fangs would like pierce your hand. So I don't know about the actual functionality of the design, but hey, it's a, a video game. <laughs> oh man, more colors. We got the uh, Be Gone Evil cross of the exalted lions of course Ooh, look at that avatar it reminds me of that uh that artemis skin what was it called like the nemesis artemis or whatever from a couple battle pass ago very cool more colors a hundred mammoth coins we're at right now for free well you know you gotta buy gold version but you know what i'm saying you're getting a hundred coins already wow look at that lance very beautiful very deadly looking with all those spikes on it Ooh, we got another taunt here on the free track at tier 38. Another XP boost, the Chimera sidekick at tier 39. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, look at that orb. Oh, man, I would love it even more if it was actually glowing, like if it had a flicker effect on the inside, but unfortunately it doesn't, but it's still awesome. I love the concept and the, the design is beautiful. We're at 120 Mammoth Coins now. Oh, see, look at that avatar, animated. Very cool, very cool. Wow, the UI theme is only at tier 8 45. That's not bad. Very cool UI theme. I love it. It'll go really well with the loading frame as well. Some more colors, and then boom! Tier 47, High Priestess Nai. Oh my gosh! Queen Nai actually getting a really awesome new skin. I mean, Queen Nai already has a lot of really cool skins. If you actually look, she does. But she hasn't gotten a new skin in a long time, so this is really, really cool. Here's the weapons. The Eclipsing Faith Spear and the Dark Whispers. And again, guys, one of the best things about Brahalla is the weapons. You can get these skins and use those weapon skins on any other legend that has the same weapons. So, very cool. And they also look different in different colors. Keeping it going, some more colors, and then another. Ooh, look at that. It's like Cross's coin kind of flipping in the darkness. I like that. Some more. 140 Mammoth coins we're up to now. Ooh, look at the sight, the Arc Valor. That looks so cool. I almost would like it better without the little spikes on top, but it still looks pretty cool. We got another colors, another free avatar. That one looks pretty cool. Another sidekick. Wow, they have like literal saliva smoke coming out of their mouth. <laughs> it looks like saliva almost, but it's smoke? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even want to know. All right. We got Katars at tier 57. Beautiful, beautiful. Another XP boost. So you guys are noticing all these XP boosts. Like, it, basically, the, the more you level up, the faster you level up. It's pretty cool. Some more colors. 140 are we at? I'm losing count, but I think we're at 140 or 160. This is an amazing taunt for two reasons. It's just amazing in general, but it's also amazing because it's literally like the Dark Souls uh, bonfires, which is basically uh, one of the logos of my channel I had done. Uh, an artist actually drew. If you ever watch my videos all the way to the end, you'll see what I'm talking about. And this is, a, yeah, watch this video to the end and you'll see, oops, <laughs> let's go back, my bad. All right, so where were we? We got the, uh, the, the momentary rest taunt. That's like, that's amazing. And then, of course, the KO effect that I, myself, got to reveal to the world. Of course, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit disappointed it's not called Lucian's Sword, but, you know, Unchained Resolve, that's okay. <laughs> we got the Tome of Rituals, uh, we got some more colors, more Mammoth Coins, I think we're at 160 or 180, I forget. Look at that great sword skin, the glory of the lions. I mean, are you guys seeing how much value is here in this $10 gold pass? If you if you could, if you get all this stuff, I mean, it's not hard if you play every day. Even if you play once or twice a week, you get all the stuff. Look at that Azot, Azot. Whoa, he's got three faces. 
And that axe is like a p banner. It's like a piece of paper. You'd be getting smashed by a piece of paper. Oh my goodness. His bow is literally a... It's like an arm. He just rips his arm off and uses it as a bow. Oh my gosh. That's such a good skin. Keeping it going. Some more colors. More XP. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're up to like 200 mammoth coins at this point. That's, that's like $5 worth of mammoth coins right there. Oh my goodness. We got Saber of the Order Sword. So beautiful. Again, the stained glass. Look at that taunt. Full Moon's Howl. Whoa. They're like crystallized wolves. It'll look even cooler when you're using Mordex when you do it, right? Such a cool taunt. And this is the final page of the Battle Pass, guys. Tier 81, the Righteous Spine Spear. Very cool. You actually get an animated sidekick on the free track. That's pretty cool, guys. And it's completely free. Whoa, look at this metamorphosis avatar. Octavius Mordex going into his wolf form. Very cool, very cool. And then at tier 84, you get the Code of Lions, which will give you the universal color scheme. So you'll get these colors for every legend. Um, I don't know how many of these you actually get before the universal. Probably like half. So by the time you get to this, you'll just unlock it for all the rest of the legends you haven't gotten it for yet. And then of course, ah, uh, you thought I was gonna go to that Diana, not yet. You got the Exalted Lion title, very cool. If you complete all the mission, or, no, no, I think you just gotta get to tier 85. Just get tier 85, you get the title for free. And then look at that, Soulbound Diana. Oh my gosh, look at the window break, watch. Boom, boom. It looks so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Her weapons. They look kind of weird by themselves, but when you see her actually using them, they fit really well with the skin. And that is your reward for completing the battle pass. All right, so that's it with the battle pass missions and items. Let's go ahead and just start playing, guys. All right, we need scythe KOs and stuff. Um, let's just jump into a game, guys. Oh wait, we have a new Brawl of the Week. Ghosts in the Fortress. Phase in and out of invisibility, take advantage. Oh, uh, let's go see the new map, guys. The Fortress of the Lions. There's a new map. All right, let's do it. We have to do it. And we're gonna use, of course, Octavius Mordex. Look at these colors, guys. Oh my goodness. I kinda wanna just do black right off the start because it fits with his personality, right? We can't even use default anyways. Frozen Forest don't look bad. Neither does Gala, but we're going black all the way. All right, we got the weapons. We got Stone Guardian. Let's go. First game with the Battle Pass. Season four. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We actually have like a, a lot of reasons to, to boot up the game now. All these weekly missions. One of the things I love about the Battle Pass isn't just the stuff you get. It's just the purpose you get to play the game. Completing the missions is fun. It gives you uh, something else to aim for when you're playing and then also you get rewarded for completing them with awesome items All right, here we go guys first mission. I'm surprised nobody else is Octavius Mordex, but here we go Usually when the new battle pass comes out like everybody's using it. Whoa, look at the new map guys So this is the free-for-all version of the map, but the new map also has a 1v1 version that looks a lot different So there's actually two versions of this map so you can say there's two new maps. What is this? Alright, so this is basically ghost mode, but like 300% damage, I guess. I don't even know where the guy is. Oh man, we're battling in the cathedral. Oh, I died from a ground pound. So 300% damage, and we can't even see each other, and it's 2v2. Actually, I should have used the active input there. I would have gotten one of the uh, KOs I need. You cannot run, Core. I know where you're going even when you're invisible. No! I need an active input KO. Don't die, Core. Okay, he didn't die. Wow, he died fast that time. Man, if you hold still, look at my silhouette. It looks creepy. Oh, if you hold still too long, you actually turn invisible. I mean, you turn visible. <laughs> the opposite of what I just said. I want that active input core. Come on, baby. Stop running. Got him. 
All right, well, that was the new map. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's see if we can get that new map in a 1v1. Look at that podium I got. Oh, man, that's beautiful. All right, so we made, like, practically no progress there. Okay, let's go to experimental 1v1. All right, hopefully we get the new map. Oh, he's the new colors on the Aurora Brin. Oh, that looks so cool. Wow, that looks good. And we got the new map! Oh my gosh, look at this map, guys. Look at the stained glass window. Oh, man. Oh. So, all right, so according to the uh, lore, you see that dragon face on the, mount on the mountain in the background? There's like a castle up there. That's like the Order of the Exalted Lions hideout. Like, or the, it's like their, their base or whatever. So, pretty cool. And listen to this music as well. Very epic music. Oh, he's already throwing out the horse. Oh, we're gonna punish that. We're gonna punish that good. Man, that Brynn looks so cool with those colors though. I can't wait to get those colors with every legend, guys. Tier 84 for the universal, but you're gonna get some, oh man, nice weapon throw. You gotta get some, is he dead? Oh, oh my goodness, he actually died. I thought he touched the wall there. Uh, but yeah, if you wanna see like which, Skin looks like, oh my gosh, that Axe Ground Pound is so good. <laughs> if you want to see what your favorite skin looks like in these colors, you could just go into the image render tool on PC. If you're on console, I don't think they have an image render tool, but you can look at these colors on any skin. I cannot wait to get Aurora Brin on those colors myself. Man, this Axe is really banging me up. I gotta, I gotta do some damage to this guy or we're gonna lose. There we go, there we go. All right, I'm feeling it. Getting the rhythm here of Mordex. I gotta remember what it's like to play Mordex. We pretty much tied it, okay, never mind. <laughs> Side sync to the face. All right, let's see if we can tie it up again. We did it once. Mm. This guy is a really good Brynn too. Like, he knows how to play. I think he had a diamond border, so I'm not surprised. And he's dead. All right, we tied it up. I'm gonna try to get a KO with the active input. So like, if you don't know what an active input is, like on Scythe on Mordex, for example, if you do a down sig, oh my goodness, I almost died there. If you do a down sig and hold it forward, you will throw them forward instead of backwards. And that's an active input. I'm kind of looking for the opening to do it here, but. All right. We may, we may not get a perfect chance. Oh, okay. GG, dude, GG. Well played, dude, well played. And that, guys, is the new 1v1 map. So epic. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. I'm gonna be doing all the new map, Battle Pass stuff as it comes out. I'm gonna be working on these missions as well, so. Alright guys, good luck with your missions. Let me know what you think of the new Battle Pass and all the new stuff. And let me know if you're going to get the gold version or if you're just rocking the free version. Nothing wrong with that. You're going to get a lot of cool stuff even on the free version. And yeah, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.